What percentage of people achieve remission after induction chemotherapy, and how long does this remission typically last? In general, in AML, it's somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of patients will get into remission with their first course of chemotherapy. And then prior to it, for us to to do a bone marrow transplant, everyone needs to be in remission beforehand. Um, And usually those patients will, you know, the hope is that by doing a bone marrow transplant, we keep patients in remission indefinitely. Usually with patients that get into remission with just their initial chemotherapy, we never think that that's enough to keep people in remission indefinitely, which is why after you get in remission, we always plan for further courses of chemotherapy and or a bone marrow transplant as a means of, of keeping someone in remission. And and the, the number I gave, I said sort of 60 to 80% of people get in remission initially. There are a lot of different things that we can look at that help us to know whether you're more on the 80% end of that, or in some cases, there are some patients where it's, it's actually lower than 60%. And so we can get additional information about someone's leukemia that helps us to know you know, where you might fall on that spectrum. Unfortunately, sometimes it actually takes us a while to get all that information. So we often, because leukemia is such an acute disease where people can be so acutely sick, we're often deciding what treatment to give before we even have all the information that helps us to know how likely you are to get into a remission with the treatment that we're giving. We generally can be a little more specific on an individual, for an individual patient by looking at things like Uh, gene mutations in the leukemia, and for looking at uh, chromosome abnormalities, so this thing called your karyotype, um, both of those things help us to know how likely you are to achieve a remission with chemotherapy. 